start today's webinar. So this is the UK worldwide webinar. So we've got um, lots and lots of UK agents here today. So thank you everybody for coming. Hey, Corinne. Um, I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves. So Sarah, if you can tell us first of all, who you are and where you're from today. Okay, uh, hello everyone. So we're nice to see everyone here yes, giving some thumbs up and some hearts. Um, I'm Sarah from Zenitude, Zenitude Consulting. We are a based company found in Mauritius and we are representation of company and hotels that we do have in our portfolio, working along with our managing director, which is Michaela Oseni. So today we will be presenting two of our products, which is Ocean Creek and Le Cardinal. Super, so, thank you yeah. very much, Sarah. Um, and we also have the lovely Andrea, who's covering uh, a little bit more of a range today. Um, Andrea, tell us who you are, where you're from. Hello, um, I'm Andrea and I am representing Outrigger Resorts. And I'm, as it is a worldwide webinar, I'm going to take you on a worldwide journey. So, um, yeah, um, I will start. Oh, my, my prize as well today is um, a £50 voucher. So I shall sh um, share my screen and take you on that uh, round the world journey. Super, thank you very much. Hold on. It's not at the beginning. It'd go wrong. Okay, so I'm going to start with the video just to give you a little bit of an overview of Outrigger Hotels and Resorts. There are places on this watery planet where the sunset truly outdoes itself. On the world's most iconic beaches, Storied places that have drawn travelers for ages. The rhythm changes with latitudes and longitudes, but the music is as constant as the urge to be barefoot. When your story begins at the edge of the ocean, you appreciate each journey, each traveler. You give the kind of welcome you would want, one with love, respect, and a soundtrack. That's how it's done at Outrigger. At all our little dots on the map. At all these special places where you might find yourself on Earth. Outrigger Resorts and Hotels. Come be here. So, um, the goal for Outrigger is um, to be the premier beach resort company in the world. So that is an ambitious target, but that is um, what the company want to do. For those of you who aren't aware, Outrigger is a Hawaii-based company. So um, a lot of the Hawaiian culture comes through in our properties. And our management, they've um, sort of identified these um, five things that they really want Outrigger Resorts to sort of um, aspire to. So the first one is being on renowned beaches um, around the world. And so you will find that all our properties are on some amazing beaches. The second thing is the must-see beach bar. Um, one of our hotels in um, Waikiki, um, it, it has Dukes, which is um, a really popular beach bar. And it earns so much money that they, they just realise that it creates an ambience, you know, in the properties. So it doesn't necessarily have to be with, a, you know, loud music and that sort of thing. It can just be what the view is. So that's something else that we're um, working towards with all the resorts, um, a must-see beach bar. Um, music, um, that, that you know, create, creates experience. And to have live music, which is authentic to the destination, is again something else that um, you'll find at Outrigger Resorts. Then we have these signature experiences. And one of the things that I enjoy um, working with Outrigger is because it's not just about getting the guests in the hotel and keeping them there. It's about saying to them, look, you're here, but go and explore and um, find the cultural experiences of the destination. So we give recommendations um, of what we think the guests um, should you know, consider while they're at our hotels. Um, and then we also have a commitment to conservation as well. So we're involved in a lot of um, projects um, it, it, in all the destinations that we're, we're in. 
Um, so I thought before we start, because sometimes I don't get to this part because um, I've run out of time, but some of the tools that you can use. Um, we Firstly, you can contact me with questions, any special requests. That's my email address. I also use the MyHablo um, platform um, as a way to com communicate um, what offers um, tour operators are um, featuring, but also um, you can get fact sheets on there, images, updates, reels. Um, you can download them for your own social media purposes. And then we also have um, our own um, in more in-depth training um, uh, website. And basically, you can earn some free night stays at some of the Outrigger resorts. And um, you can also get some special um, gifts as well for your guests if they're staying three nights or more. So um, there's some of the tools you can use to learn more about Outrigger. So I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the resorts. The first one is um, the Outrigger Maldives Marafushi Var uh, Varu um, Resort. This um, is um, in the famous South Aria Atoll and it's a five star boutique resort. Um, one of the key selling points of the resort is it's in the area where you're going to get the whale sharks um, and that's got to be a bucket list for most people. Um, we also have a marine biologist on site and she'll do little presentations about the, um, you know, what the guests can see. We've got a really good house reef and there's lots of other dive sites close to the um, hotel as well. It's, it's great for couples and honeymooners. We've also got a little island at the side of the, um, of the main island and we can do some destination dining experiences on there as well. Um, we have a, a variety of villa options and um, most of our inventory is over water and um, so we've got some which are just over water villas, some with private pools and then we've also got some with jacuzzis. We've got a good choice of um, restaurants and for, you know, a small ho hotel, we've got four restaurants, um, a Japanese one, um, like a one that were a buffet style one, and then two other um, fine dining restaurants. And we do meal plans, um, half board, half board plus, and um, um, an all inclusive dine around. I've mentioned Lanubu as well. Um, and um, the, the, one of the selling points actually is it is an exclusive resort with Crony. So that does mean that if you do um, do a price for your customers, you're not going to get it price matched um, because it is exclusive to Crony. So moving on to the to Thailand, we have the Outrigger Serene Beach um, the Outrigger um, Koh Samui and the uh, Outrigger Khao Lat. So just going through to the Outrigger Koh Samui. Um, we, we took these over just after COVID. We completely gutted them and refurbished them. A lot of upcycling as well. Um, we reimagined the um, beach club here and created some more pools. So we have got this amazing um, beach club. So it's an ideal um, property for families. Um, we're close to the airport in um, which is An Chueng, which is like the main sort of central place in um, Koh Samui. But we also have a Voyager Club Lounge, um, which um, particularly for couples is ideal because you get, you know, complimentary soft drinks there. And um, it's, it's like an exclusive lounge just for certain room types. And it can offer really good savings as well um, for families, especially if you've got children with the, the complimentary drinks. Um, we've got 32 pairs of interconnecting rooms. So again, the family market is a, a key market for us. And um, we've re-renovated re the kids club. We've got a games room. We've actually got Laser Quest as well there. Um, so it's a great all-round resort um, for families. Then moving on to Sarin Beach. Um, Sarin is, um, if you've not been to Sarin, it's um, sort of more authentic Thailand. It's not, um, it's in Phuket. So it's not as commercial as some of the other resorts you can find in um, Phuket. Um, again, we um, reimagined um, this property and um, refurbished it. And we've got this really lovely open plan lobby bar. And we've got hints of Hawaii, as you can see from the video. Um, again, that must-see beach bar is um, um, overlooking um, Sarin Beach. We've got 
10 private pool suites, which are, you know, great for the honeymoon and couples market. It very much is targeted because it's small and boutique. It's really um, targeting couples and honeymooners. And most of our inventory falls into the premium category. But we do have some interconnecting units. So if you do have some families who want to take advantage of it, you can do. Then the Outrigger Kowlak, um, this is on Bansack Beach, which is a lovely stretch of beach. And we are seeing more, more and more UK customers um, going to Kowlak rather than Phuket because a lot of um, tour operators twin it with Elephant Hills because it's a good twin centre for that. Um, that we've got really um, large rooms and we've got a newly constructed um, kids club, games room, beachfront restaurant. So there's a lot um, going on um, at this at this resort. But it's also great for couples because we've got seven standalone private villas and four of which have their own private pools and they overlook the pool and they can see the ocean. And then um, again, because we're targeting that um, family market, we've got a lot of interconnecting rooms as well. Then changing areas. So we've been Maldives, we've been to um, Thailand, now off to Mauritius. So the Mauritius Beach Resort, um, we are, we've repositioned the hotel um, as a four star plus um, because we just felt um, we wanted to exceed guest ex 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 expectations. So it's a four star plus resort. It's in the wild south of Belambra. It's about 45, 50 minute um, transfer from the airport. The key selling points really is all the rooms are ocean facing and um, we've got um, family rooms, which is our major selling point that can sleep up to three children up to the age of 17. And they're actually a separate bedroom off the main bedroom. So that's a massive selling point for us. We've got a variety of different rooms to choose from. And uh, we've also um, got some um, beachfront rooms which have um, the club concept attached to them. Um, as well as our junior suites. And it's quite rare for a four-star property to have a club concept. So if you've got um, clients who perhaps, you know, don't have the budget for a five-star, but, you know, they're, they're, they're a honeymooner or they're celebrating a special occasion, it's worth looking at these um, beachfront rooms that have the club concept attached to it. And that will give them access to the plantation club. And here they get um, the complimentary drinks and um, it, there's, a there's a pool area that they can use themselves. Um, so it is, um, you know, a great option. Then moving to Fiji now. Um, so the Fiji Resort, um, it is on the Coral Coast, which what is one of the nicest stretches of beach in Fiji. Um, again, it's about 50 minute transfer from the airport. We've spent a lot of money on this property. So it's um, completely been um, re new newly renovated. Um, we've got, you know, your standard hotel rooms, but we've also got these beachfront berets as well. And um, we do a lot of activities and we really get the customers in, immersed in like Fijian culture. And we do like storytelling, fire walking and um, dance performances. We've also got an adventure park as well, where we've got archery and um, paintballing and um, driving range. So there's lots of activities to do. We've got an award winning Coral Kids Club. Um, and but we've also got some areas where it's adult only as well, because to be honest, most of our um, market is um, couples who are coming through Australia and New Zealand. Um, anybody interested in weddings, um, we have a beautiful wedding um, chapel where guests can um, get married if they want or they can do a renewal of vows service. And we're also very big on social tourism as well um, at the Outrigger Fiji Beach Resort. And um, again, you can find more details on that on the My Hablo platform. And then our second property in Fiji is the Outrigger Castaway Island. Um, and this is in the Mamamookas. It's more of a four star property, um, but it's just um, basically a castaway island. And um, we're the only property on the island. You get there by taking the ferry or you can take a seaplane. Um, but it's all um, traditional thatch burrows. And again, they were refurbished fairly recently. We've got loads of activities and um, diving and snorkeling is one of the main um, things that guests like to do there. But again, we get them immersed into the Fijian culture. Um, we have a good kids club as well. 
and I get we're really you know involved in um, the Mamamuka Environmental Society and guests can um, plant um, coral and um, so again anybody looking for that um, Fijian sort of castaway island experience and one of the selling points again is that they don't have tvs in the rooms and we really try and encourage people to connect with each other while they're at the resort so staying away from um phones and everything and then um most of our properties are in um, Hawaii. We've got the Waikiki Beach Resort. We've got the um, the reef and the beach coma. So I'm just going to just briefly go through the, the um, reef because there's too many properties for me to go through. And um, the reason I'm going through this, it's just had an $80 million re renovation. Um, and um, we are seeing more and more people wanting to do Hawaii. They're, you know, connecting either for, through Japan or um, they can go through Singapore or they can go through the US or Canada. So there's lots of different ways to get there. Um, but all most people end up on Oahu and they go and see Waikiki Beach. And we have both the, the reef and the Waikiki Beach Resort, both um, which are absolute beachfront. Again, we have a Voyager 40 second lounge, which I do recommend you look at the room types for um, the reef, um, the room types there that take the club because it can save them quite a lot of money. We've also introduced the mon monkey pod kitchen um, there as well. Um, and one just mentioning one of our other properties, which is the beach coma, that is going to have the... Um, but I think from December, it's going to have Cirque du Soleil at the property as well. So we have lots of um, properties in Hawaii. And again, you can get all the details mainly either on the agent um, training site or on the MyHablo platform. So if there are any questions, um, yeah, please let me know. But that is my worldwide tour of um, Africa. Thank you very much, Andrea. That was fast and very, very informative. So, um, yeah, any questions for Andrea, please pop them into the Q&A for the attention of Andrea and we can answer them towards the end. Um, so now we're leaving Andrea on a worldwide trip. We're hopping over to Mauritius. Um, we've got a little bit of liquid sunshine today, but Sarah's going to make it all bright and sunny for you. So it's over to you. OK, let me share my screen. So, hello again. So, uh, I will be presenting the Zenitude and what we do and with the two hotels that we said earlier would be Ocean Creek and Le Cardinal. Start. So basically both of the hotel Ocean Creek is in the northern part of the island of Mauritius. Uh, we have the Ocean Creek here. So if many of you already know Balaclava, so it's just behind the maritime Balaclava. And further up we go to Truobish, then we will be having the cardinal. So Ocean Creek is a brand new four-star hotel. Um, they just opened the hotel, the property last year. So it's a very like the new one of the newest that happened on the island with 136 rooms and suites. The best part of this hotel uh, are, you know, it's a very good getaway for family. Just, for family and groups, even young honeymooners, or if you want to go on a getaway just to have like a little bit more fun, leisure party. So this is could be the perfect selection for it. Uh, as you can see, it is situated, we could say practically this part as uh, the delta where the ocean run across the river, which is here. So this is called the Vivier Le Goulet. 
and the other side of Le Goulet where you get the Port Chambly. And sunset would be setting every night just at the spot here, just on the delta. So this whole part of the sand and the beach would be perfect for, you know, aperos, sunset. And even if we are going, if you have any FIT weddings requests, maybe we, we could even propose that to you. We have, they, have, they do have um, two water giant water slides, one for the adults and one for the kids as from six, I would say eight-ish and above, not below, because below they do have in the kids' corner, they do have their little water, water pool thing going on with all the kids' activities. They have two restaurants, two bars, which one of the bar is just on the left edge of the pool so you can start to to have your drink and and you're already swimming they do have a small wellness which is called shanti they do have two hamas and two sona uh, we prepared a little video for you guys So that was Ocean Creek, just for you to get a little glimpse of it, how it looks like during the day. All right, so we do have we do have um, four categories of rooms. The main one are the comfort room, superior room, kitchenette comfort, and family room. So as you can see, we did a little video for comfort room. Your comfort room is on 34 meters square and they do have 16 of them, which is very, very um, available for two adults and a baby, I would say. I would not put one kid because it is on 34 meters square. So two adults and one baby adding a cot, that would be really the perfect one. And um, like you can see this one, this video here, is the family suite. So huge bed, you have a TV on turn on 360 degrees where you can turn it via living room or via bedroom. You have your kids room with two beds. Sorry, I think it's just uh, the connection on our side that's a bit funny today. Is my no, it's stuck. Oh, there we go. It's yes, stopped, it right? So no. I, I'm sorry for that. I think it's just the um painting okay. internet here. Your tea coffee get replenished every day. That's the family sweet. I think it got, well, I'm sorry, but I think it, it's getting stuck every time to forward. We move forward to, um, we've got on the left, the two restaurants. On the top, we've got the second restaurant, which is an a la carte restaurant and it's called the Rum Shed. They are open for lunch and dinner, not open for breakfast. And the below one is the Le Jardin, Le Jardin where all the free, um, it's open the breakfast, lunch and dinner. And their meal plan is basically a bed and breakfast, half board and all inclusive. So this is for the restaurant. On the right side, you've got the two bars. That, that was the bar I was telling you, you can already start to aqua gym and still having a drink or having some bubbles. Uh, on the edge and inside the main bar is called the tam tam bar as you know in Mauritian tam tam means like you know party let's party so that's a bit tam tam bar the concept is very Mauritian as well here we um, we are 
having the big giant slides, the green one are for adults, which is a much more higher than the blue one for the kids. And this is one of the best features that they have for families there because it's like, you know, even adults, they are, you know, fighting to go first on the slide. So it can get very, very, very funny at the pool, but practically every time. Uh, the top here, the little pool, we've got the kids club. It's at this little pool is attached to the kids club where you have those little water splash, like the lot of splashing everywhere where the kids can just go and be there as from eight o'clock in the morning till eight at night. Uh, you leave them as from three years old to 11, you can leave them with the assistance of their, um, the entertainment team. Ladies will be there to assist. Second here, Next to the rest, the second restaurant of the hotel, they do have a little cinema, if we can say, where you can, while eating, while having dinner at Rumshed, the adults, they can always send the kids next to them, watching a movie, or we can create something special for them, tailor-made, like a drawing room. We can make it also like a nightclub at night if you're having a private party or you are in a small group of people coming for birthdays or a little wedding. 20 to 50 people, you can use this, this part as your um, <clears throat> dance floor. Ocean Creek is a hotel where inside you don't have the beach attached. However, it's on that river Logule, where you can see, this is where I was referring to the delta, where the ocean meets the river. This is exactly where the sunsets happen. And trust me, it's really beautiful with the experience we had lately. Uh, you have little little boat trip. So you can do like a 20, 30 minutes on the river, seeing the sightseeing of Port Chambly and even create like, you know, a little honeymoon, um, romantic getaway with some bubbles on board and some canapé and watch sunset. So this can be used like that. We have the wall climbing as well as activity, and it's quite um, something unique in most of our hotel because many of our hotels don't have that wall climbing. So this could be something interesting for Ocean Creek to venture for. So that's a bit for Ocean Creek. Moving on to Le Cardinal. This is the second hotel that Zenitude is having on our portfolio. So we strongly represent Le Cardinal. Le Cardinal is a four-star boutique hotel, uh, very specifically for getaway for couples. They are, not, they are adults only. However, they, you, we can accommodate teenager, but they are not going to take kids down to below 11 years old. Le Cardinal has 10 junior suite, which has also two penthouse and one family duplex. It's a very cozy, but yet a very intimate atmosphere. And, you know, it's just right there in the heart of Tupo Beach, where this is one of the most beautiful beach on the island. They do have, it's a very small hotel, like I said, very intimate. So perfect for honeymooners. As soon as you step down the, the pool in here, you can just, all this part of those umbrella is for the Cardinal. You can even do your personalized dinners on the beach every night on request. Of course, we can do weddings as well on their beach. As you can see from the hotel to the sea is nearly, nearly three meters to four. So it's really, really close and uh, you don't have to worry. Just like the sea, just the ocean just look like a pool if you, if we can put it like this. They have one big restaurant and it's an a la carte. They have their spa facilities and they have, of course, their golf course, which is very close to Torbish. Anything about the race of golf course, if you can, you can just write us down and we will send you the materials. This is Lucardi now.
there we go. Um, so this is one of the junior suites, an example. One duplex, the one, the duplex family got two bedrooms in it. We have two penthouse with one jacuzzi and one plunge pool. As you can see, even for a small hotel, their rooms are quite spacious. This is their restaurant. You can either dine inside or you can dine outside near the pool area. Or even have breakfast, sorry. This is an idea of the pool in front of the rooms. And just to note, to make it clear, all the rooms are sea and ocean facing. So um, there is no, um, one of the most selling point of it, it would be all sea facing, nothing, it's like view and garden. So this could be a very good uh, way of selling it for the beach. Right, right now we are having those special offers. Like for Ocean Creek, you are st we are still having the offer BB to half board plus a 25% off contractual rates. So if uh, you would be interested for the family gatherings, do not miss out on this little property in Mauritius. We have also Le Cardinal, which is offering contractual offer 10% discount during peak season. And right now, festive brochures are still available and they are still having availability as from November till January onwards. So that's a bit it of the two products that we have on our portfolio. Super, thank you very much, Sarah. So uh, looking at the slides then, um, Le Cardinal, that beach is just absolutely incredible. And the fact that you're, you're within sort of stomping distance of your shops and restaurants as well is, is perfect. And I love the fact that it's really small. Um, Ocean's Creek with the, uh, the big slides and the sort of activities and the great for the positioning based on the fact that it's Northwestern. So great all year round. So brilliant overview um, of those two hotels. So thank you very, very much. Um, we've got a couple of questions that have come in. Um, so, which UK tour operators features Ocean Creek and Le Cardinal, please? Le Cardinal, please. Um, I think I've seen them with two each. Which UK? So it's certainly Tui that I've seen. I've certainly seen them with Tui and Hummingbird. We have, we have, uh, just hang on, I'll let you know in a bit, which you can. We have three. We have Destinology. They're direct sell, so we don't book them. We have TUI. Yeah. Hummingbird. Yeah. So Tui, Tui and Hummingbird. Are the are the two for those destinology? Yeah, destinology are uh, not trade. And actually. we are, for Ocean Creek, especially we have Lotus. Yeah, not trade. It's that's direct sell as well. So Tui and Hummingbird would be the two options for the trade for the ones that travel agents can book. So super. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, is the Cardinal and Ocean Creek all inclusive? Yes. Yeah, so Cardinal, you have a soft AI that we just showed on the offers. Okay, super. Thank you very much. And Andrea, you've snuck a question in behind the scenes. Um, you was asked, which is your favourite hotel? Probably the Maldives. I just love the Maldives. Yeah. Ah, uh, and why? Why is it your favourite? Is it the uniqueness uh, of the destination? It's just the colours. If anyone gets the opportunity to go there, it's just yeah stunningly beautiful um yeah it's just, I, I just love and you know to do the whale shark experience although saying that I I jumped in the water and then jumped straight out I was too scared <laughs> but you know I did see the video footage of what I should have seen um yeah it's just it's just beautiful and um I think the service levels there as well are, um 
the we've got a really good GM and team over there and they just took care of me and that's why I think I just loved it. <laughs> No, I'm the same as you with that. I go in the water and I, even if seaweed touches me or a tiny little yeah. guppy, I'm screaming and I'm out of the water. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a phobia, I'm sure. Yeah, maybe. Great, super. So that is the end of the questions. Um, I will be sending out a full recording um, and the contact details of everybody that's been speaking today. So if you have any further questions, please do reach out to them. Um, these hotels completely trade friendly. So um, do let them know if there's anything that they can help you with. So if everybody can go now go to chat and make sure that your drop down says everyone. We've got a couple of questions to ask you. I'm just going to grab my pen and paper ready. Um, so, Andrea, do you want to ask your question first, please? So, as a reminder, everybody on the webinar today gets a prize draw point. If you answer correctly, you get 10 prize draw points. And I will put you all in a magic spin to win and let you know who the winners are when I send the recording follow-up. So, Andrea, what is your question, please? Uh, this, this one, some people might get or they might not, but I know I did mention it. Um, the name of the club concept at Outrigger Mauritius. I thought people would I never remember this one. I know I did mention I consciously mentioned it. I don't think that's right, is it? No. I know <laughs> that's it's what not I that. I was thinking to myself, they're gonna put 47 and it's not that one. I, I know. Yet I I, I know it if I see it, but I can't remember it to, to shout Maybe it out. Maybe I have to do Anyone? another question. Then. Nobody's got it. Okay. I did slip it in, in fairness. Yeah, but even I can't remember that one. And I've been and seen the hotel and oh, okay. I still can't remember what it's called. I'd, I'd know it if I saw it. Plan ah, here we go, <laughs> Alana. Alana, yes. We've got one. <laughs> <laughs> It is the yeah, plantation, it. plantation club. And it's a great little place as well because you've got, it's just like a, an old, old colonial style era yeah. uh, of going into the plantation club. So definitely worth those upgraded rooms. Which room categories was it to get the... So it's the beach, the beachfront and the junior suite. So yeah. it's club beachfront and um, which are the ones that are on the top floor and the junior suites get the access to the plantation club. Perfect. So, Alana, you have your 10 points. That was a hard one. I know. Well, normally I do them the same ones and all the people know them. So I thought I'd trick them today. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we won't forget now. No, definitely not. Um, OK, super. So, Sarah, what is your question, please? Right. So um, what is the name of the second restaurant of Ocean Creek? No. Yes, Ima. Ima. Right. Okay. Again, I think restaurants are always hard to remember. Bramshed. So we know it's not Tam Tam. Is it Le Jardin? No, it's the uh, Rum Shed. The Rum Shed. So Lauren it's was the Lauren. first person. Lauren. How did I not remember that? Because anything to do with rum, I love. <laughs> Normally, definitely remember that. Okay, super. So, Lana and Lauren, you have your extra 10 points. So, I will let everybody know um, a little bit later on today who the winners are. So, a big thank you, everybody, for joining us. Hope you've learned a lot. Um, and if you do need anything else, do reach out. And don't forget, you can log all of these hotels on uh, My Booking Rewards. Um, we do the monthly prize draws um, as well. So, thank you. And a big thank you to Sarah and the team and to Andrea for the super presentations. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, sending you sunshine and lots of uh, good luck in lots of bookings. Thank you. Bye, everybody.